Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video Deacon Gaming are going to be showing you how you can shoot um, TNT from your bow instead of arrows. Um, it's really really easy to do as long as you follow what I do in just a moment. Um, so yeah what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be in the creative world, have command blocks enabled and get yourself a command block. Now you can do this by putting in the following command which is forward slash give at p command underscore block now i know some of you have had trouble in the past with some of my um builds um using command blocks but as long as you follow exactly what i put inside of the command blocks so like every single piece of um like number or letter or syllable as long as you put in um every little thing that i do you will not have any problems um so what we're going to want to do is get a command block and find anywhere you want to build so i'm just going to put one here and make sure that the arrows here are pointing towards the sky and then you're going to need to put another one on top so you're going to need to crouch place so it looks like that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go into the bottom um, command block and you want to make this block type on repeat. Make sure the condition is unconditional and go to the redstone and press always active. Now, once you have done that, you're going to go to the command input and you're going to put in the following exactly the same as I do. So make sure every letter is exactly the same. All lowercase, you want to execute E X uh, E X E C U T E space the at sign, and then you want to go to E, and then you're gonna want this this um, little bracket. Make sure it's the like the block type version. To get onto that on Xbox, you want to hold, and then you can go across to the um, different brackets but I've just realized that they're both down here so we're going to use these ones down here so you want this one and then you want to type in type like that next you want the equals so this and then you want to type in arrow a r r o w Next, you want to go to this uh, little bracket and put in that. Next, you want to go space. And then you want the little squiggly line, which is right. Is it this one? It is. It is that one. And then you want to obviously, so you, we'll do that again. So you go space, put one in, space, put another in, space, one more, and then space. And then you want to go to D, E, T, E, C, T, you want detect, then you want to go again, space, put one of these squiggly lines in, space, another squiggly line, this time don't put a space and put in the negative button and then you want to put in the number one, next you want to go space, put in another squiggly line, space again, now you want grass, space, negative one again, Space, summon, S, U, M, M, O, N, space, T, N, T, space, one of these squiggly lines, space again, squiggly line, space again, squiggly line. If done correctly, it should look like this. Execute at E type equals arrow, detect minus one, gr grass, uh, minus one, summon TNT. Make sure every little squiggly line and space is correctly put in and that's the first one done. The next one we are going to do is the command block above. Now for this one you want the block type on chain. Whoops. You want the condition on unconditional and you want redstone saying it needs redstone. 
Next, you're going to go to the command input and we're going to do it almost the same as what we did in the uh, command block below. So it's this time it's E X E C U T E execute space at sign E and then we want this again and then you want to type type equals arrow so that's T Y P E equals A R R O W type equals arrow and then you want this bracket again <coughs> next you want to go space and you want to put in your squiggly lines again so there's space one squiggly line space one squiggly line space one squiggly line space next you want to go d e t e c t so you want detect and then again you're going to want to put space and then you want squiggly line space squiggly line and then don't put a space this time negative one and then space squiggly line space and then you want grass and then you want space negative one and then you want space tp and then you want space at sign and then you want e and again you're going to want this um bracket and then you want type equals t y p e equals and then you want a r r o w and then you want one of these and then you want equals and then you want one one and then you want this bracket again and then you want space squiggly line space squiggly line and then you want negative 500 space squiggly line <coughs> once you've done it should look like that <coughs> sorry about that execute at e type equals arrow squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line detect squiggle squiggle negative one space squiggle space grass space negative one space tp at executes uh, bracket type equals arrow um, one of them little things i can't remember what they're called equals 11 bracket space uh, squiggle space squiggle negative 500 space squiggle make sure you don't put any extra spaces in anywhere else make sure it is 100% the same as how, how I've just done it now that's all done you want to get yourself a bow and if you pull and hold as you can see it shoots out TNT this could be a really good method for digging for certain items um, like so if you want to go mining it will work really well for that if you want to make big deep holes if you want to destroy something really quickly this would be perfect And as you can see, oh, it kind of looks like a butterfly. How cool is that? So, um, yeah, that is how you make a TNT shoot out of your boat instead of arrows. And of course, you get unlimited. So you don't have to actually find any arrows and you have unlimited bows. This will work in survival um, as long as you pull it into creative first. <clears throat> so let's say you've already got a world on survival. Um, actually, before we tell you how to do it, I just want to let you know you can get achievements by doing this method that I'm about to say. So what you want to do is if you've already got a survival world, change it to creative, set up all your command blocks, get your command blocks out, set them all up to whatever you need. So if you want to do teleport, we have a video for that. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, if you want to do um, this, so you can shoot uh, TNT out of your um, bow, 
um, you can do that. Just make sure whatever you do with command blocks, set it all up um, because you cannot move them or change it when back in survival. So set it all up and then change it back to survival. And then we have a software that you can go on to um, change the actual game mode itself back to the original state of survival. So it, the game will think that you never went on creative in the first place. Um, and we'll leave a link in the description below of the YouTube video that we have done um, showing you how to make this happen, how to get it to work. So we'll leave a link in the description below to the video on how to get achievements um, in uh, survival while you're like when you're been in creative. Um, and we'll leave a link in the description also to the tele uh, how to teleport with command blocks. Um, and yeah so that's basically it so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed today's video then please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and until next time it's been good it's been great it's been deacon gaming